thank you very much for taking time out of your day to view this tutorial and troubleshooting a common Linux media agent and common Linux file agent issues. So first things first, we're in the ComServe and I want to go to the registry of the ComServe because they want to show you where you would find the ComServe GUID ID for troubleshooting. You're going to click on uh, local machine then software then you're going to go down to Commvault Systems, then you're going to go to Galaxy, Instance 01, followed by ComServe. And these are the common things in the ComServe settings. So your console, ComServe client ID name, it never changes. Whereas if you do the ComServe host name, that one you can change. You can either add IP address. A lot of times what you'll see is people adding um, dip switch settings, even though they're their client has this setting in it, they'll still add a dip switch setting just to make it work. The other important thing is the GUID, ComServe GUID ID. That is to allow the Linux client or in another case, the Windows client to talk to the ComServe. ComServe GUID should be the same on both instances for the client and also for the ComServe when communicating. So let's go over to our client and get started. So you notice I'm in Commvault now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the Linux job, or Linux client rather, go to properties. And normal function is that when you can, when you can click on version and then uh, go to browse. And if you can get into this, then you know you're good. Um, then you know there's communicating between the comm server and the client. That's the first thing. If it doesn't work, you got something else going on. So you want to, a lot of your software a lot of your software is located when you install it, obviously you install it in the Simpana folder here. When I made mention earlier of the base folder, the ComServe GUID number, that should match up. So what you should see is this number and the number on the registry should be the same. And I'll show you in the com vault here where you want to find that. Go to home, rather, uh, yeah, home, and then control panel. Then you're going to click on certificate administration, and you're going to see that that Linux client's there, and that means it's talking to it. It's active. Let's dive into the, to the Linux client itself. Close that. Minimize that, and we're logged in. So first things first couple different troubleshooting steps. You want to type in Simpana, Simpana status. That's going to give us an indication of, tell us a couple different things. So the ComServe name, uh, how the client sees the ComServe name, and how the client is named as well. So the host name, it's and we can go over to the client itself on the com server and I can show you what this representation of is here. Click on properties and as you see the host name is Linux client which is matches this one here and the com server host name is the com, com vault server matches. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on uh, we're going to type in Simpana uh, list so that's going to give us an indication of what's running on the box itself, the Linux box. We're just, you've troubleshot everything, you've gotten everything working, you set some dip switch settings, everything seems to be working, but just not uh, coming coming about. So let me let me show you a couple things. Let's go first CD, Etsy, then Commvault. Uh, okay, then we go, uh, what, what is it, what is it, Instance I think it is? No. Type it real quick. What am I? Oh, Galaxy. Galaxy. Then we're going to go instance 001, then followed by comserve. Now we're going to do cat properties to view the comserve GUID, which is this guy right here. So this should match what we have in the comserve itself. But everything looks good there. Let's uh, let's just hop on over our registry and just compare the two. Okay, that looks right. Yep, good times. Okay, good. So we can get out of this. 
let's say for instance some of your troubleshooting steps you need to reboot it you need to restart your service you don't want to do the whole thing so you do a perform a um, sampana restart or a sampana start sampana stop let's do a sampana stop okay stopping all the jobs you can also do a you can also do a sampana start sampana pana and that starts the in, starts the services for that as well and you can also perform a sampana restart sampana restart yep good times another thing that might be beneficial is if you wanted to um, if you for instance you can't talk you want to see if you can talk to the comp server so every client should be able to talk to the comp server so we'll do like we'll do that real quick I'll show you that we'll go CD then op folder then Simpana then we'll go to the base directory so in there there is a file called um, cvping so dot slash cvping no and then we'll go um, 172 this is the comserve IP address oh uh, right so dot slash cvping yeah 172.30.1.9 okay so you notice that little uh, port number there so if you just designate the port number it'll ping it 8401, 8402, 8403, 8404 probably will fail. So Commvault usually uses 8400 through 8403, not 8404. I mean, you can designate it. You can tell it what to do uh, in the firewall setting as well if you desire to do that. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on how to troubleshoot basic stuff in a Linux client on your Commvault instance. Thank you.